In Dallas, some city council members say they support giving police officers and firefighters an across the board raise during their next budget year. That's because the city is still losing officers and firefighters to other North Texas cities that pay more. Jack Fink is live at Dallas City Hall with what this all means for residents. Jack? Well, Gilma and Ken, Dallas PD has a goal of hiring 250 new officers by the end of September. Here's the problem. The city has only hired 130 so far, and 137 officers have left the department. And so this is why some council members now want to give an across-the-board raise, not only to police officers, but to firefighters as well. Last week, the city manager told council members for every 1% increase, it will cost the city about $6 million. We can probably find enough money to create some kind of raise. Dallas Councilman Philip Kingston says he supports giving police and firefighters a raise during the next budget year starting in October, even before discussing a new long term contract, also called Meet and Confer. Councilmember Scott Griggs advocated for an across the board raise in a Facebook post last month, saying, quote, I support a 5% raise this fiscal year, 2018 2019, to make our compensation more competitive. We still underpay all our officers compared to other cities in Texas. A 5% raise could cost the city $30 million a year. I think that's really the genius of Scott's idea is to do something now while we're having a problem. We know we're going to give them a raise in the next meet and confer. We're watching our best officers leave here still, and we're not, not even staying up with attrition. Frederick Frazier, first vice president of the Dallas Police Association, says he fears without a raise next year, the city will continue to struggle hiring new officers. Every officer at Laterals from here is taking a fifteen to eighteen thousand dollar pay increase instantly. That's money for his family. The president of the Dallas Firefighters Association, Jim McDade, says starting salary is not the only problem. It takes eleven years from when you start to when you get to be topped out. And those are eleven long years. And you can go to other places where you top out much faster than that. And McDade and Frazier both told me that they have the support of at least eight of the 15 people who are on council who support the across-the-board raises next year. The city manager is now developing his budget proposal and will present it to council members early next month. The council will then have until the end of September to approve a budget. Live at Dallas City Hall, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.